Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you so much for clicking on this video and giving it a watch. If you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button and joining my YouTube family. Also, don't forget to hit the like button down below as well as the, leave a comment because all of those things do help my channel grow and I appreciate them so very much. Don't forget to run over to Jay's channel, give her some watches and a subscribe. Don't forget to watch her ads because that's how she is currently making her money and she can use all the help she can get because she's there supporting her family after her son's accident and you know she could just use all the help and love and prayers and everything she also has a gofundme and i do have that linked down in my description box below today for you i have a dollar tree haul i have hopefully the last of the birthday party stuff that i've bought for lorelei's paint slash rainbow party and Dollar Tree is outdoing themselves with their party supplies lately. I just feel like they keep getting better and better and better. I also have a few of the things that I picked up for Braxton's party coming up in September, maybe October. I think October 1st is the date of his party, but um, I decided to pick that up too because it'll be here before we know it. And um, a few other goodies too that I want to share. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to get into it with you guys. So let's get started. First of all, I found these. These are tinsel, tissue tinsel garland. So they are tissue paper in there and they just fold out to like a banner or a garland really of rainbow color tissue paper. How pretty are those and just fun and only $1.25. So I was looking at something very similar on Oriental Trading, Party City, all those places and this is so much better of a price. It is one garland with seven tassels and nine feet long so I just think that that's a really good deal I picked up two of them just in case I will probably end up with extras of this theme or all these rainbow colors but I'll probably just put them aside in a birthday party tote because you never know when you can use them again for a future party especially all this like not branded or not themed stuff um, because you know any party can have tinsel tissue tinsel banners garlands anywho uh, I've already shown a couple of the things out of this collection that I've picked up so these are trifle containers they say and they show gumballs in there but you could put pretty much anything you want and I have been buying all three colors there might be more in the store but I've been picking up these three colors of all the different items because I just absolutely love them. These will go in my party stuff because I will reuse these whenever my party allows or get together or life because I love them so much. So I got the purple, the pink, and like the teal kind of turquoisey blue. And I think that they are so fun and so pretty. Off the top of my head, I couldn't tell you what I'm using these for. I mean, they could potentially be the candy bar if there's anything big enough to go in them. I have something else that I pulled or that I picked up for the candy bar to hold candy, but sometimes you have bigger items and smaller items and you need to kind of switch up the sizes of your containers. And so these will be perfect if I need something bigger. Or when we do food, I don't know what the food is for her party yet. We need to nail that down. Cheeseburgers are one of her favorite things. So very possibly my husband will be grilling and if that's the case you know we could put condiments and just kind of like put them in here or I don't know I'll come up with something though to use those for but that would be fun too because then the food table will have all that color and then they also have these ones so these are called the scalloped container and I got all three of the colors in these as well so we have like the turquoisey blue the purple and the pink I just absolutely love these and I mean they can be I guess considered disposable they're not really like I don't know they're they're just awesome um I watch Vivian tries do you watch her she is hilarious and she actually just did a party one from Dollar Tree and she picked all these up and said how awesome they are and I couldn't agree more I was in the process of finding all of them in all the different colors and then to go with them depending on what I put in some of those different bowls I had to get the, the matching scoops these may or may not be used for Lorelai's party but just to have on hand for anything in the future I needed the matching scoops so each of these come with two a smaller one and a larger one so I mean I mean let's let's be honest here how adorable are these and how fun are the colors 
so I was excited to pick up all of those. Again, I don't know, I'm gonna try to use them for her party because I love the color scheme of them. But if I don't, like I just want them on hand for future parties. So I mentioned that I picked something else up thinking for the um, candy table. And I thought these little bowls would be perfect to hold the different candies. And I've been trying to pick up different rainbow colored candies. And these are also like the Iridescent rainbow colors. And these match the plates that I picked up too from Dollar Tree for her party. And so you get six per package. And I mean, I don't think I'll use that many. But I don't, I hope not, that'd be a lot of candy. But um, I thought that this would be a nice little vessel to hold the candy. If I, I have not still decided what I want to give them to like put their candy in as they pick it up. And this could be something too, but it's not a great to-go container. For Eric's party, I did brown paper sacks because it was army and it just like made sense. I called them gunny sacks. But maybe I should look for little rainbow like plastic bags. Either way though, these I think are what I'm going to use on her candy table to make it bright and fun and just fill these up with all of the different rainbow candies um, on, that on the candy table. Then for her goodie bags, I bought these a while ago. They just been kind of set aside because I kept saying the goodie boxes and that's because Lorelai was with me. She saw these and she had to have them for her goodie boxes. So they kind of look like Chinese food boxes, you know, when you order. Um, your Chinese food and they come in the to-go boxes which she loves she loves those boxes and so that's probably what drew her to these they have little handles on them and they just close up and you get four I believe three three per dollar twenty five and we picked up all the colors plus I think we got two pinks just to make sure we have enough because it's three six nine ten eleven twelve yeah so maybe a few extra. So these were the colors we found. We got orange, two sets of pink, a set of blue, and a set of green. And again, for kind of the rainbow part of her rainbow party or paint party. But looking at them now, I bought those little palettes. No, canvases. And I don't know if they're going to fit in here, but I'll make it work. So even if I just like attach them to the outside. So yeah, those are going to be the goodie boxes that we're going to fill with little thank yous. And then, I mean, maybe two they can, no, I was going to say put candy in here, but that's a big box to fill with candy. So that's a terrible idea. Too much candy that way. And I don't think I'll have enough for that much per kid. For wrapping gifts, I was just finding, picking up bags that I thought were really cute. And this one is adorable. It says, let's party. It's got the rainbow cake on it. And it's a nice big bag. The problem though with our big bags is I feel like they're not very wide so it's only like the width of this and so sometimes like they're still not quite big enough because of that but um i liked this one a lot it just keeps going with like the stars on the inside i don't know if i have anything necessarily to wrap in this but i'd rather have it on hand than not have it on hand and so i picked that one up just because i liked it i thought it, the colors matched i also grabbed um this little gift box they are in their gift box section and it's partially maybe to put a gift in but also I thought it would be really cute as decor too that if you take the top off you can use it for like floral arrangements or I mean really anything I don't have a full plan for it but I thought it was cute and it totally matched so that's why I grabbed it and it's glittery on top it says happy birthday and if you saw when I popped it open the inside is even a really pretty blue color so I love the, the section that has these boxes in it now I think that section is so amazing they have so many awesome just little gift boxes currently that it's totally worth it to take a look especially if you have to wrap any gifts or anything like that section is always awesome if you watched a couple hauls ago I um Lorelai and I both picked up the wrong number birthday candle for her and we picked up a number nine, but she is turning 10 and we both laughed at ourselves. We actually were talking about it just the other day and giggling that we did that. And so I picked up the 10 because she's turning 10 and not nine. And we also picked up some really pretty like rainbowy candles too for her cake, but she wanted the number one as well. So that one is 
just cute and easy and basic and a dollar 25 each is a good price i think so i got those we grabbed these napkins both her and i didn't necessarily love them but they matched the set of like plates and stuff we grabbed and i mean they'll definitely work so we'll have these napkins i might just get some solid ones too to kind of blend in these are you get 14 per package i mean should be enough so we'll probably be okay with that but grab those just because they matched the plates and stuff and they're fun and bright colors now this isn't necessarily for her party but i've picked it up and kind of threw it with her party stuff just in case they are sprinkle letters what if i did a little sign for like the decorate your cake you get nine sheets 91 total decorative letters numbers count listed on back so they get six a's two b's two c's you know goes through i wonder if i do something about decorate your cupcake or something like that decorate a cupcake and do a little sign for that table and there's like sprinkles Maybe that's what I'll do because these are so cute and I wanted to I wanted to pick them up. Um, so yeah, that I picked those up, but maybe now, maybe, maybe that's what I'll do with them because they just look like, I mean, they're not necessarily sprinkles. They're kind of like, I mean, they could also look like brush strokes on there too if you look really closely to them. But maybe I'll do that with the um, cake table, the, the cupcake table. So that is everything I picked up for her birthday party. But I still have another party coming up, and so I picked up more stuff for Braxton's party. So he's doing a gamer party, and what better time because Dollar Tree jumped on board for me for this one. So I picked up the whole set that I could find. I haven't found anything other than what I have. Um, so I don't, I think this is the whole collection of what they have, but we got the napkins. There's 20 of them in here and it says you win game on bonus. And that is it, but it's in the green, blue, black, and white, which is awesome. He said that he loves those colors for his birthday party colors. And so it works out great. And then I grabbed the cake plates. You get 18 per pack on these and they have the little game controller and say game on how perfect oh and then it also says around the edge let's see you win level up game on bonus you win level up game on so it just says that all around the edge as well so that's decorated and then i picked up the regular plates you get 16 per package and it says level up with the controller like thank you dollar tree that is perfect timing for all of those supplies and then they also brought in some decor too to go with this set. So first of all is a centerpiece. And this is super cute, just like paper centerpiece. It has the game controllers, next level birthday, you win, level up all over it, but it's totally perfect. That would be cute like next to the cake or I don't know where, just wherever. So we will use that for sure as one of the de piece of decorations. And then they have this wall mural and it says the same thing, game on, level up, bonus. It is 42 inches by 72 inches. I have hopes, we usually put up like a, a canopy in the backyard and I hope that this would just cover up, you know, the back, like fit the back wall. I wonder if I should pick up another one or maybe measure it just to see. And then do that just kind of along the back to kind of had a backdrop on it so we're not looking at the neighbor's houses when we're back there and so with that I mean awesome and you could just put it on a wall too and then you just have that on a wall they also had some a banner a happy birthday banner and it's really cute as well it just says happy birthday it's just made out of cardboard you can see it on the back but just perfect for a nice happy birthday banner that fits the theme it is seven feet long and on each of the sides, it has the little controller. One of them says level up. The other one is game on with a blue controller. You can see it right there on the end after birthday. How awesome. And all these are by Greenbrier. So Greenbrier is what's bringing this to us. And I have to say I'm for it. I love it. 
Lastly, out of the decorations were these. This is a three-piece set, and they are like the little, they call them the swirl decorations, like the little dangle decorations. So I have a chandelier kind of light in my dining room. It's right above me. Um, and I typically hang these from there just to kind of bring up the decoration from the cake table, because I always put the, the cake on this table. And so these are perfect. Now though, there's only three in here, I might pick up one more pack because usually when I buy them from like the party stores, you get a handful more. So I don't know if three is enough or if I can come up with something different too to hang from there. But I think that is awesome. So that is all the gamer birthday party stuff I picked up and I am for Dollar Tree's new stuff they have coming out. They have a new, they have some shark stuff that has been really cute. They have some dinosaur stuff. And I don't know if my kids are fully past all that yet or not, because I still have Eric, he's so little. But he's mentioned wanting a Pokemon party next year when he turns nine. But he hasn't tell May, so we have plenty of time to see kind of what he wants. But I love those party auctions. All right, I have a few other fun things to share. So this is some stuff my husband picked up. This was in the plus section. Pretty much every store I go into now has a plus section. And just sometimes we walk up and down it. I don't really look too strongly in it. But he has been for the longest time been talking about wanting a little water fountain on his desk at work. And so when he saw this for $5, he was for it. So this takes two AA batteries for indoor use only. And it's a fountain with blue LED lights. So um, maybe we'll set it up, kind of look at it before he takes it to work. Or maybe he'll just take it to work. But he's been wanting it. In the box, it comes with the LED fountain. A packet of stones and the instruction manual and it was five dollars so he grabbed that and then he looked at the Hot Wheels as he always does and he picked up some Hot Wheels so he picked up a green Volkswagen Beetle this one that's called a lucid air he said this is another like like a Tesla an electric car but a different brand because it's lucid air I don't know anything about that um, he grabbed the G GMC Hummer and the 76 Greenwood, yeah, Greenwood Corvette. I don't know. It's funny because we pick up completely different types of cars when we pick them up. Mine are usually like the cute ones and stuff and then his are like, ooh, look at that cool car. But, you know, you know how that goes. All right, I have some books. I only... Um, I've got a couple, well, I got, I got two, but one of a lot, a lot of one of them. So I picked up four of these because I think that these would be amazing gifts when I was looking through them. So I wanted to make sure to have some on hand for gifts. So this is called Life by Design. This retailed for $14.99. Um, and let me read the back to it of what it is. So design the life you truly want. You don't need a life coach to help you map out a route to happiness. All you need is a sense of adventure and commitment to start building the life that you've always dreamed of living. One living one self-reflective step at a time. As designers build prototypes before they make their design final, Life by Design provides you with 52 lists, questions, and inspirations to help you imagine all the possibilities before you claim the path to your own future. So it has over 52 questions of lists, questions and inspirations to help you define and claim the life you want, creative interactive exercises to guide you toward personal fulfillment, and easy and fun with pragmatic results. I thought that this book looked amazing. And so it has literally just like some questions and stuff to help help you kind of decide what you want to do in life. And so I am going to do one myself. And then if I decide that I love it, I have more to gift and I'm excited for that. And like I said, it was $14.99 retail price and I, don't, I just love it. And then I found this book that this is going to be for Eric. It's Behind the Legend Bigfoot. He loves Bigfoot and Sash, Sash, Sasquatch. Um, and so I thought he would absolutely love this book. This retailed for $9.99. It's by Little B Books. Um... And I don't know what that means exactly. But then when I was looking at it, they have three other ones. And so I am really hopeful to find them all. So they also have the Loch Ness Monster, Werewolves, and Zombies. And it says, Fact or fi Fiction, You Decide. And so it's just kind of like all like beautiful illustrations. And it gives you kind of a lot of information about Bigfoot. And I guess you decide if you believe he's real or not by reading it. 
So I'm keeping my eyes out, hopefully to find the other three. I might even look, so I go to a website, Thrifted Books or something like that, and I buy previously loved books from there because um, they're better cost than like $9.99, you know, each. And so even if I can't find these at the Dollar Tree, maybe I'll look there for the other three because I think that this just seems like such a fun little set of books that I think Eric will really enjoy. So, so I grabbed that. I finally picked up, because I've looked at them forever, I've never grabbed them, and I finally did these little letter board notes. And they have the two different colors, so I grabbed them each. And it says Quotes for Every Day by Crown Jewels. And I was watching someone, and she had them, and I think she said they're the same, even though they're different colors. And so I want to see if... I can't remember she's on Instagram more than than um, YouTube she's a teacher she's a science middle school science teacher I love her stuff but I can't remember oh okay so no they are they're different so maybe I was wrong she I don't know if the quotes are all gonna like be different or the same but so they're just little note boards and so this one all has a pink um, or a little banner with little like well so there, it's pink or different colors around and it has kind of like a little banner going across. Stop and think. And then, so when you flip it, this one says, bloom where you are planted. The next one says, do the right thing even when no one is watching. You know, this would be cute for Lorelai, I think. Stay humble, work hard and be kind. So that's really cute, I love that. And then this one is a little bit different. It's got kind of like a plant vibe and like a wooden frame kind of vibe to it. But same diff same thing, it has happiness never goes out of style. Love is what makes a house, this house a home. Think happy, be happy. These are really cute. Love is all you need. So then you could just keep flipping it and having just little happy little sayings and it has that little vibe of a letter board but they're just little notepads or little pads of them so that's really cute and I'm glad that they're different oh one more book it was underneath those so this one is called heart of gold little acts of kindness I did not pull the sticker off of this one before probably because it was under that and I didn't see it so this one was $12.99 retail price course I got it for $1.25 and when you flip through it they're literally just little ideas of little acts of kindness so make a match talk to a person who seems shy at a party put away your phone when you're with someone resist multitasking during a conversation I'm terrible about that that I try to do too many things at once including during conversations thank your parents write to a former teacher or other professional that made a difference in your life that is such a good one we should all do that like think of someone that's made a difference and write them a little note thanking them praise someone on social media donate to a friend's cause online or offline so maybe i'm gonna do little acts of kindness on my channel wouldn't that be fun if i open a page like every day maybe i'll do it maybe on my instagram something about doing a little random act of kindness we could read one page and if anyone wants to do it like it's just little kind of like starters for like what you can do for a little random act of kindness i don't know but what little prompts like super cute little prompts to do something positive you remember back in february i did kindness february where i was really pushing like everyone do a random act of kindness this i mean one look at this book it would have been perfect for that because it's very valentine's day ish and it's just about little prompts of doing something. I don't know. I'm going to try to think to do something with that. Um, I missed a party thing. It's a fringe backdrop. The wigs did not make it in the party bag. Um, so this one is like the size of a door. And it's just got this fun fringe. And so I thought that I would hang that up for her party. Because I think she'll love that. And it's very rainbow, rainbow themed. So sorry. I missed that with the party stuff. Um, just a couple more things. Braxton was with me during one of my trips and he wanted some yarn because he's been learning how to make chains 
and he wanted the dark green this one's really really thin so I don't know if it'll be easy or hard for him to work with but that's on him to kind of figure out because he picked it out I have been collecting some sloth items um, throughout because uh, I'm kind of creating a little sloth gift and how cute is this hook so it has got a little hanger on the back it's just a little hook I mean you can't really put too much weight on it it's more for decor but how stinking cute is he there was also I think there are three other animals I cannot remember for the life of me I wanted to say I think a panda but I think it's not a panda and I can't remember what the other ones were but I picked him up because I've been looking for sloth items because I'm putting together a little gift and I thought that he was too darn cute I also picked up some sloth ribbon because I always look at the little printed ribbons to see what they have because you just never know and so I'm gonna just put that with the sloth stuff I don't need any more of these I do not need any more of these but how cute is this little coffee one it's got just little coffees all over it and so I picked this little tech case up I do use them to hold little things I think like when I do hair ties I should put them in here because I lose all my hair ties when I travel and then I find them then just shoved in all kinds of random places and I'm like oh wait I did have hair ties but um, that's what maybe what I'll do with them and then I picked up this pencil case it just seemed really nice I originally thought maybe for Lorelei but I think she might be good with pencil cases but we will see if she can utilize it or if not um, you'd like like sunglasses would be good in here because you could do multiple pairs without cramming them in like you do the regular sunglass case but it's just a really nice pencil pouch and I grabbed it because I liked it so I don't have an actual usage for it off the top of my head but I liked it all right guys that is my Dollar Tree haul I hope you enjoyed everything that you saw let me know what your favorite thing was down below or if you're throwing any parties or anything do you pick up your supplies at Dollar Tree um, but that's all I got for you today my alarm just went off on my phone as my reminder to go pick Braxton up from school so um, I will see you guys next time I hope you have a wonderful wonderful rest of your day again don't forget to hit the subscribe button uh, leave a comment and hit the like button because all those things help me out thanks guys bye